Amanda Hartman, speech pathologist for my sister, we're here. Hi! We've got our book, we've got our pro aqua to go on my big iPad, so we're ready to have a fun reading session with AAC. I'm going to get my other iPad all set up here with the video so I can read your comments as we go along today. Okay, so welcome, welcome to our Facebook Live. Who's out there today? Send me a message, let me know. I'm in Australia, in case you couldn't tell from my great Ute Aussie accent. But I wonder, where where are you, are you from today? I've got Proliqua to go loaded, and we're going to model that as we read the story today. So let's see. Hello out there. Welcome. Let me turn on your comments so I can see. Hi, May. Hi, Joan. Um, I've got, hi, Judith. I've got my friends Pam and also Irene helping to answer any of our questions as we go along today. We've got some friends from New Zealand. Hi, May. That's, uh, <laughs> I love it. And hi, Ian. Ian is there. That's fantastic. Thank you. Um, we often have some, some friends that have been coming. Did you know that here at Assisted Wear, we've been running these Facebook Lives for over 12 months now? And that means we have a big bag. Actually, every Facebook Live that we've ever done is still in the video section of Assisted Wear. So you can come back and watch these videos anytime. Because sometimes Miss Amanda does go a little bit too fast. But never mind, let's go. Today... Hi Joe in Victoria. So we've got some Australians joining us and Marie. Hello, hello. Um, if you, yeah, you're joining where? Hi Hannah. <laughs> Good to see you all. Tell us where you're from. Welcome, welcome. Hey, these Facebook Lives are such a fun moment for us to come together and practice AAC together. And if it does go too fast, just pause it. Find the words on your AAC with your child or your student because we want this to be a learning experience for everyone. Let's see what's on the agenda today. Miss Paul. Amanda's reading session. It's Miss Amanda's reading session. That's what we call it. So we have to read the book. Read the book today. It's Oi Dog. <laughs> okay. And then what else are we going to do today? Rhyming words. Ah, oh, we're going to listen for some rhyming words. Rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end. That will be fun. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Leanne. Good morning, everybody. And. Favourite foods. Today we're going to talk about our favourite foods that we found in the book. But maybe you have to get ready with your favourite food to tell Miss Amanda because I really want to know. Okay. Oi, dog. Did you know that this is the second book in the series? Because look, we already read Oi, frog another time. Hi, Lucy. If you're just joining, my name's Amanda and today we're going to read with Prolog Where to Go. Oi dog, we've already read Oi frog, and in Oi frog, oh, uh oh, something bad, something bad kind of happened. Have a look at the picture because I have something to say. I'm going to write a sentence. <laughs> the dog, where is he? Somebody help me find him upside down, modeling. Dog. The dog, he sat on. on the frog. The dog on frog. Oh no! The dog is sitting on the frog. I do not think. Not. That good. is not good. That is not good. Hi Heather. Hi Amy. Come and join us. We're reading the book. I wonder. Oh, I have a question. I have a question. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you on my big board. I have a question. Oh, it's a bit hard today. My board's too big. I have a question. I wonder, what should the frog say? What should he say to that dog? Should we see? Let's see. He says, oh, look, I can see a speech bubble. That tells me that's what the frog's saying. Oi, dog. Hmm. I think I know what he's going to say. Say. He has to say to the to the dog, dog. I think he wants to say, let's look at the picture. Oh, the dog's sitting on the frog, remember? He is on, on the poor frog. And frog wants to say, get off. Get off, dog. Get, get off. off. My. Oh, not my. Sorry. Get off me. 
Me. <laughs> get off me! Help! Get off! <laughs> All right. Hmm. I do not think the frog likes the dog to sit. So I think the frog wants to do, do things different. differently. He's going to find something different, different for the dog to sit um. on. And in fact, this book has lots of funny things where all the animals sit on. Um, they all sit on different things. Mm -hmm, they do. Let's find some of them in there. Sorry, I lost the page. So, the frog said, what about, there's a cat sitting on a mat. Mm. The frog said, what about if the dog, or the dog sits um, on a log? Maybe the dog could sit on the log. <laughs> Are you listening for these words? This book has words that rhyme. They sound the same at the end. We are going to see if we can think. Think about those rhyming words later so you remember them. Okay. Remember, during the Facebook Live that you're watching, I can read your comments over here on my second iPad. So make sure you join in, leave us comments, tell us what you think. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh, really? Really? So now, look. Ah, oh, look, it's different. I'm going to write a sentence, clear my message window. <laughs> the dog, dog can sit on, on the, yeah. oh, I think it's a thing in nature. Uh, log. log. The dog on the log. The dog's on the log now. That's better. Now he is not, not, he is not on. He is not on the frog. Hooray! But what else? What? What else? Oh, look. I found, hi Anne Marie, if you're just joining, we're reading Oi Dog with Prola Quite Go. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Oh, look. That's different. We've got some different animals. I wonder. Let's see if we can write a sentence to say where they are. Okay. I'm wiggling the camera there. Sorry, friends. Hmm. Because I can see more words. I think that it is a bear. A bear on, on things more. I think I need a parts of a building. Bears on stairs. Bear on stairs. Bears are on the stairs. There's bears on the stairs. There's dogs on logs. What else? I wonder if you could think of some of your own animal rhymes after reading this book. There's lots of great ideas. Hi everyone joining. Okay, what else said the frog? Oh, there are slugs. Oh. Slugs on the plugs. We're using that little word on a lot today. Oh. And there are flies oh. on our pies. Ooh, yuck. Bad. That sounds bad. I do not. not. I do not, not want flies oh. on my pie. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Ew, slugs, you're right. What else? Let's see what's next. Let's skip. There are so many different animals in this book. <gasps> Ow! Look at this big one! I have to put my book down. Can you see? Can you see what it was? I see a big whale. Oh. Describing word. He's so very big. big. I wonder what? what could he be on? Oh. I'll give you a clue. It has to rhyme with whale. Hmm, what could he be on? Let's write a sentence and see if we can guess <laughs> the animals. It's a water animal. The whale, whale. is on. Oh. What's something a whale could be on? It has to rhyme with whale. Has anybody got a guess? The whale. Have a look at the picture. Can you see? The whale is on the... Ouch! Poor whale, he's on, oh, our friend Pam thinks some kale, the whale on the kale, no, I don't think so, <laughs> but good rhyming, what about if 
I say things, I'll give you a clue, more, it's a tool, it's something in our tools folder. Oh, and Hannah's got it, you are right, it's a, I need nails. The whale on nails. The whale on the nails? Oh, bad. that sounds pretty bad for the whale. Look at his face. He's going, ouch. He's got a big ouch face. Okay, let's see what else. We've got a dragon oh. on a wagon. We've got mice oh. on ice. Kittens on mittens. Puppies on guppies. So many funny things in this book. Oh, oh, I like this page. We've got crabs sitting on oh. kebabs and poodles sitting on... Oh. Can you guess? What's the poodle sitting on? Have a look in the book. I can read the words. Poodles will sit on noodle. Oh, see, I told you the answer before you had a turn to guess. Peek. <laughs> Okay, now, look, the cat and the dog talk about all the different animals and when. where they sit. But now, hey, look, I can see another speech bubble in the book. It looks like the dog, the dog is asking a question. Oh, I know what the question is. I think he's saying, what? Do frogs sit on? Oh, what will the frogs sit on? Can anybody guess? We read all the different places that they sat on and now the dog wants to know. Oi, frog! What are frogs going to sit on? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. Let's see. Does anybody want to guess? I wonder where, where, where will he sit? Let's see. Oh, what? <laughs> the fr He's not sitting on something that rhymes. He's sitting on a nice comfy beach chair. Oh, silly frog. <laughs> yes, I thought that him sitting back on a dog would have been a good choice, Andy. You're right. Silly frog, he got to sit on, describing words, he got to sit on a... Nice. On a nice comfy chair. Funny frog. Aha. Uh -huh. So we read this book today while modelling some words on our AAC. I did some single words. On. Oh. Modelling particular words. I modelled what I thought about something. Bad. And I even practised modelling some longer sentences. Remember, when you're using AAC, it takes time. We always talk about learning to use your Proloquo to go, your AAC to support communication. It's a, it's a, probably you'd say a marathon, not a sprint. So I want to encourage you to just not give up. We have to be really consistent and persistent about it. So don't give up too soon. It takes a while and at Assistive Wear, we want to support you every way we can, which is why we come and show you these ideas and videos and we want you to, to join and follow and, and we'll all learn together. But remember, please do give, it, do give it time. Make a plan for success. So let's see what else we're going to do today. I hope that you were listening because now it's time to do some rhyming words. Some rhyming words. There were some words that we found that rhyme in the book. And we're going to put them here on my board with my letters. Okay. So I'm going to start with writing a word from the title. D-O-G. It's got three sounds. I'm going to say them, see if I can hear them in my head. Mm-hmm. Three sounds. D -o -g. So I can hear a d sound, put that over here, and an o sound, and a g sound. So in this book, we saw lots of words that rhyme. That means describing they sound the same. They sound the same at the end. So sometimes these letters at the end stay the same, the og. 
but maybe we will have, let me draw a box there to show you, maybe we will have a different sound at the beginning. So we've got all these letters to choose from. Let's see if we can make some words. Dog. Let's see if we can find, we're going to change the sound at the beginning. We're going to leave it same at the end. Og. So we had dog, d, og, dog. Yep, that's the same as in the book. But I wonder if you guys can help me think of some more words that rhyme. We can think about something. Oh, Caleb's joined us. Hi, Caleb. You're just in time to help us think of some words that rhyme with dog. D, og. Anybody got some other words that they found in the book? And I can add them in. Hmm. Oh, what was the other animal? That green jumpy animal in the book. I think that that rhymes with dog. I think we called him a frog. Let's see. Let's listen to see what it sounds like and see if it rhymes. Frog. Frog. Dog. Frog. Dog. Yeah, they sound the same at the end. Let's find the letters now out with the d sound. We want to say frog. Oh, that's two sounds. Fr, fr, og, frog. Frog was a word that rhymed in our book. And let's see if our friends have thought of one. Oh, Caleb, he thought of one. Remember what the dog and the frog were sitting on? They were sitting on a log. What sound? What sound can we hear when we say log? Oh, I need the letter L. L log. Log. Now, those words were definitely in our book. We had a dog, a frog, and a log. What's another word that might rhyme? I've got a question for you. What about... What about... What about cat? Cat. Does cat, cat rhyme with log? Cat, log. Maybe I need to hear how they sound together. Cat. Cat, mm, and a nature word. Log. Cat, log. No, 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 no. No. They do not rhyme. They sound different at the end. Okay. Ha ha. Our friend thought of another one. Fog. So out with the L sound. Remember, the letters are staying the same at the end and we're finding letters from over here to make new words. What about fog? Fog, ooh, the foggy fog. Yes, fog, log, those words rhyme. Great thinking. <laughs> and I've, some of our friends are already thinking of their favourite foods for our next activity. Good work. Okay, I'm going to just put a letter in here. Let's see if I can make a silly word or a real word. I'm going to choose A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, I'm going to choose that one right at the end. A Z sound. Z, Og, Zog. Zog? What's a Zog? I'm not sure Zog is right. No, I do... I do not. not think that's a word, but it does rhyme. It sounds the same at the end. Very good. Did anybody else? Oh, we had frog. Yes, thank you, May and Fog. You guys did a great job at finding some rhyming words today with my little board. Okay, let's see what's next because let's check the time too because today is... The time is 7.19 a.m. Oh, we've got a little bit of time left. And now it's time for... Favourite foods. Favourite foods. Did you know that... I see. I saw some foods in our book. And I wonder whether any of them are your favourite foods. Oh, Caleb's still thinking of more rhyming words for us. Thank you, Caleb. A hog. <laughs> Very good. So, I'm going to write down... On my whiteboard, some of the words... Some of the foods... That are in our book okay so I'm going to scan through and see there's no foods there oh hey look I can see bears on stairs and they are eating food I would 
call this a breakfast food. I think it's porridge. Porridge. Is porridge your favourite food? Let's write it on the list. Now, if you want to give me your favourite food, I'm choosing foods that I like from the book, but you can choose any foods that you like. Hello? Okay, I got porridge. Okay, I'm going to turn the page and find another food. Oh, something else. Yes, I do like this. I would call it maybe a dinner food. It's a meat pie. A pie. I do like pies. Not with flies, but I do like pies. Caleb likes porridge too. Yum. Pies. Porridge. Aha. Uh -huh. Ian's favourite food is Mexican. Thank you, Ian. And we had a vote for porridge from Caleb too. Very nice. <laughs> We're writing a list of our favourite foods. I'm going to show you describing words. Favourite. Our favourite foods. The foods that we like, like to, to eat. Eat. Were there ever some more foods? Actually, do you know what? Let's see what else. Aha. Uh -huh. Caleb's even wearing his favourite Mexican t-shirt today. There's a Mexican food in this that I skipped the page before. I think we should read it for our friend Ian. See, look, it's cheetahs sitting on fajitas. Yum! Should we put fajitas on the list? Mexican for Ian? I think so. They are sitting on their fajitas. Fajitas. Very good. All right. Is there any other food in the book? Let me check. Hmm, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking, oh yes, look, I found noodles, food, hmm, I don't even know where noodles are in mine, maybe it's a lunch food, hopefully, oh wait a minute, there they were there, noodles, noodles, yes, I like to eat, I like to eat noodles, noodles, did anybody else share their favourite foods for us? <laughs> noodles hey guess what everyone I have a surprise I, I have let me write a sentence I I have, have food more noodles I have some noodles right here maybe you can help you can help me make them here's one I prepared earlier noodles Oh, take the lid off. Oh. Let's see. Noodles. Oh, they're going hard. I need to stir them up. Hmm. Maybe I can put some something on it. Let's see. Should I put chili on my noodles? I wonder what you guys think. I think I have something to say. I do. Not like. I do not really like chilli. No chilli for me. But maybe we can put some... No, May doesn't want chilli either. Put the spice on it. Get my fork. Okay, stir it all up. Whoa, the noodles have gone hard. Mmm, delicious. What are you guys eating there today? Maybe some Mexican or some porridge. I should be eating porridge. It's breakfast time for me in Australia, but anyway, I can have noodles for breakfast, right? What about soy sauce? Should I put on? Should I put on some soy sauce? What do you think? <laughs> oh, Caleb loves chicken, ice cream, cheese, and yogurt. And May says, no, I shouldn't. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe not. May says no to soy sauce. Okay, let me taste it first. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. These are very nice noodles. But I do think they need a bit of soy sauce. Just a bit. Delicious! I'm a noodle. I'm like the poodle. I'm eating noodles. Those are words that rhyme. I like 
to eat. eat noodles for breakfast or any time of day. All right. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Mmm, mmm. I shouldn't eat in the middle of our Facebook Live. I'm sorry, friends. I hope you've got something to, to eat there if it's time to get eating. Nice noodles. Well, I think it's come to that time where if anybody... Questions. If anybody has any questions out there, they can throw them out to us and we'd be happy to answer them. And remember, all of our Facebook Lives are on our Assisted Wear page, so you can watch them back. But we do welcome anybody who has a question for us. Please let us know. Otherwise, we'll wrap up for today. Let me give you a minute to ask a question. I'll eat a noodle while I'm waiting. Oh, <laughs> Ian really likes soy sauce. Yum. You want to put it on everything? You can put it on everything. Yum. Now we're going to have a time off on Facebook. So in two weeks from now, we will not meet. So we're going to join again in four weeks from today. But we'll be this same time, same place. How do I add writing to our day? Oh, May, that's a very good question. I think that we all do a little bit of writing every day. We write a shopping list. We write down, a, maybe we write a message to somebody. We might do it with pencil and paper, or we might do it with typing a computer or our phone or our iPad. And I think one of the best things that we can do is just try and do a little bit of writing every day and model the words. Maybe if you're using AAC with your child, you can be uh, problem uh, brainstorming, thinking about what you want to write and think about it with your AAC before you get your pencil or your typing keyboard. So I think any little bit of writing that you can do every day, it, that's actually lots to say that it's all those little bits of everyday writing that we do that can really make a difference for someone who's learning literacy. So it could be, what other everyday literacy things do you do? Planning your day, putting things on the calendar, um, writing lists for things so I think it's really um, you know you can yeah just find those little moments every day where you can practice writing together writing anything writing poems anything fun is good too um, oh now our friend Anne-Marie has asked about my page set here of, that I've been using on Prolicor to go to show you today so I'm using the 7x11 grid, which is the standard grid that comes in Prolicor to go. But I've actually have added some color coding on my buttons. So maybe it just looks a little bit different to yours. Um, there is a video that we made. I will send the link to you so you can see how I changed the color of my buttons if you're interested. But of course, I have been using this particular page set, my Amanda page set, for a long time. So I've done lots of customizations. You can see I've done things like I've I've made my schedule for our session with customized list pages. I see Pam has sent that. Um, and really, I've, I've added lots of my own favorite foods and my own favorite people. And that's not something that I did overnight. I gradually add extra words as I need them for different activities all the time. So I just use the standard 7 by 11 grid size. Um, that's available and I'm using intermediate core too if you're wondering about what vocabulary so I have a good mix of core words in there to build my sentences so that's my iPad thank you so much for um, your questions today we really appreciate that and good well thank you very much if you've just joined we're just about to finish our Facebook live for today but please come and join us again not in two weeks but the two weeks after Thanks so much for being here. Goodbye. Bye, friends.